Hey everyone, Tony here. Uh, gonna do a video right here on how to change your drive belt on the uh, EasyGo TXT gas powered golf cart. Um, pretty standard for most all years. Um, I did a previous video on how to replace the generator belt and there's a, a little bit of that video in there because you have to remove the drive belt to get to the generator belt. But I'm gonna show you real quick on here how to replace these drive belts. I've gotten a few questions on it. So uh, no tools are gonna be needed for this job, so I won't show you that. All you're gonna need obviously is a new belt and you can get the belt from many sources. Um, I recommend getting a American made belt from a reputable source. Be careful with the Amazon crap, I'll tell you that now. That stuff's uh, exactly that crap. It's usually not the right size, it doesn't last long. Try to get yourself an American made belt and you can get that from several places online. Um, that's my recommendation. So uh, I've got my new belt and I'm gonna show you how to get this off and put the new belt on. Okay, you're gonna see here I got the seat off. I've got the old belt on there. Not sure how old that belt is, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. I did replace already the generator belt slash alternator belt in the previous video. So you'll see that if you wanna take a look at that. So this is a pretty standard um, job. You don't need any tools, but what you wanna do is you wanna reach your hand around the back. I like to pull it off. You see, I already pulled it off the back. It's pretty easy. Um, you can kind of pull it off the clutch in the back and then work your way, your hand all the way around and pull it off like this. I start at the bottom and pull it out and then work my way around the top because in the back, let me pull this off, you've got the axle and behind the axle right here where my finger is, there's a U-bolt that holds the, uh, the spring in place and that kind of gets in the way of the belt. So work it from here and pull it out and you can turn this clutch a little bit. You know, it'll move a little bit like this. That'll help you kind of slide that belt off the bottom, work your way around the top. It'll just fall off. And then here you'll see just to take it off like so. We're gonna get the new belt right here. I'll show you the part number. If you guys are uh, looking for a drive belt, there's the American made part number, not the Amazon crap, okay? 10979 and you can get that from several reputable uh, golf cart shops that are online, okay? So what we're gonna do here is great get it around the front, on the front clutch, and then we're gonna go back and work the, uh, work the primary. So again, I'm gonna put it on the bottom first. So you see my hand in here, and then I'm gonna need two hands to do this, obviously, so I'm gonna put it on the bottom, work it around, and then I'll follow through on the video when I get that on there. Okay, I'm back. So what you're gonna see I have here is I got it on the bottom, you'll see here, up around, and then I've got it off right here. So you'll see right here, it's getting a little tight. So what I like to do at this point, right, is you wanna take the brake off, just tap the throttle there, get the brake off, put it in neutral. So take your gear shifter and put it in the middle so the uh, golf cart rolls, you'll see it here, all right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work this thing and just try to pull this. You'll see right here as I'm pulling this belt, and then once I pull that belt now, I got it on. Now that belt's on, there's nothing else you're gonna need to do. That belt is on, it's ready to go. It's that simple. So again, no tools, buy an American made belt, start at the bottom, pull it off, and just kind of work your hand around until you can slip it all the way off this rear secondary clutch and then get this clutch. No tools needed. Let me know if you have any questions.